everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And today I'm filming kind of like a different video for you guys. I have quite a big exam tomorrow. I'm sitting one of the big medical school final exams for the United Kingdom. I'm sitting the situational judgment test. So what that is, is it's basically a test, nothing to do with like medicine and science. Um, and purely to do with your judgment in a situation of what would be the right thing to do. I'm going to read out a question for you guys just so you get a gist of like the kind of questions that they have. One of the junior doctors working in your team had a seizure whilst at a social event that you attended a few days ago. You have known him for some time and you're aware that he's on medication for epilepsy. Today another junior doctor who knows about the colleague's medical condition tells you that she saw him driving to work this morning. List the appropriateness of the following actions. So basically, then you list through, you go through and you pick, you rank in order what's the most appropriate thing to do. So as you can see, you guys could even sit this test and it's all to do with like, how would you react in the scenario rather than, you know, do you know the science behind how a seizure occurs? How would you treat it, etc. So um, you can't really revise for it. There's two past papers on the internet for it. And I've done both of these past papers, in all honesty, twice. Um, but when I say I've done it twice, you have to be careful with how you do it and that you don't want to get to a point where the second time around you're just going through and you know the order of the questions and you know how to answer it. You have to have like thought it through and have like a process in your mind as to why you'd rank each answer in each order. So you can't revise for it extremely. Um, so my university recommended, I went to a talk and they recommended doing each past paper max two or three times and to not use any other books or go to any courses. A lot of my friends went on courses and stuff like that and I think they just go to make themselves feel better but the honesty of it is that like the way that you rank this in order, there's no like wrong, like there's, there's a right and wrong answer and then a few in between that's a bit meh. So, you know, if you want to think like the examiners, you can only think by doing the actual past papers. So if you go and do courses or get other books, then you could be confusing yourself. I'll like update you guys on the outcome of my test. My results come out like later on this year, but my test is tomorrow. And cause this isn't like a test that I have been revising for like crazy hours and that I can kind of be a bit more chill with the revision of it. I thought I'd vlog my whole process of revising the night before for the exam, showing you guys what I'd do the night before an exam, and also going to the exam and bringing you guys along with me, and you know, hopefully have your prayers for my results. But yeah, I just think that like being a final year medical student, like we've got like only a few more hoops to jump through there's 13 weeks left in these 13 weeks we have the situational judgment test prescribing skills assessment which basically assesses like it says on the tin if we know how to prescribe medicines and um thirdly we have our finals which is split into written paper and oskis which is where you like practice on patients like showing showing examiners what you would do literally for a patient who comes in saying like oh i've got chest pain or oh, like i've got like i've twisted my ankle um so that's what i've got left that's what's left between me right now as a finally a medical student and me junior dr seppi so <sighs> it's the last hurdle you guys are going to be seeing me in the next few months on this youtube you know vlogging and like giving you a little diary of what it's like to be a final year med student because I know a lot of you guys follow me on this channel because you tell me like you look up to me because you want to study medicine as well or like um, you want advice for med school how or even you're even younger and you want revision tips and stuff like that so you know I want to bring that content for the people that want that if you guys aren't interested in my med, med student aspect of my life which is actually a huge aspect of my life then this video probably isn't the one for you but it's basically a vlog of me going through an exam so I hope that you guys will enjoy it I have basically just had a coffee and I'm gonna be doing this past paper so my first piece of advice for revision is be somewhere quiet that you can focus. Sometimes I focus well at home, sometimes I focus well in the library, so just pick where you can focus. So I'm at my desk. Um, my second re revision tip is put your phone away. So I have a timer on right now on my phone because I'm timing myself doing this paper. 
but I've got my phone on charge on the other side of the room so if I want to check my phone I physically have to get up from my desk walk all the way to the other side of the room which I'm not gonna like do because I know it's bad whilst I'm studying but yeah almost done with this past paper um so you guys can watch me study for a bit Good boy. <laughs> By the way guys, this is what the actual like SJT mark sheet looks like. So like you like fill it in like that. But I've done enough practice on those mark sheets, so I've just done it on regular paper because it's easier for me to mark it fast when I'm repeating the paper, like I already know the answers, so like I know the rationale, so like it will be like very few that I'll get wrong, like second time round. So I've literally just cleaned up all the stuff in my room, and I'm gonna be going to sleep. I think it's like midnight. My exams are like 10 a.m., so I'm gonna wake up at like six, um, and I'll see you guys in the morning. According to the Iranian calendar, the days are meant to be getting longer, but I swear every day it like sunrise is later and later because right now it is look at that how can you see how dark it is? Look how dark it is, and it is almost eight o'clock in the morning, which I think is crazy. So I basically think I got in total 40 minutes sleep last night, which is awful. As in like I felt like I was awake the whole night and I think my anxiety came from so many times in the past few months I've woken up and like my alarm has gone off silently like as in it's it's ringing but it's silent so I think the whole night I was just anxious that I'm gonna miss my alarm and miss this exam which obviously that's not a good enough excuse to like you know be late to an exam so I basically got in total 40 minutes sleep I feel like mentally um, and I felt like even when I was asleep like it was nowhere near like a, a deep sleep so oh, I'm just gonna need loads of coffee like I'll have a coffee and another mistake I always used to make and it's taken me all the way up until final year to stop making this mistake is I would eat too much before the exam like I'd be like oh my god the exam is three hours and something minutes like you're gonna need a lot of food and then I'd eat so much I felt sick before the exam so all I'm gonna have is a coffee and a porridge because the exam is an hour and 40 minutes but hopefully I won't need the whole hour and 40 minutes so yeah, and we've got my dad dropping me to the station. Hello, mommy. <laughs> but <laughs> last night you told me I couldn't sleep because I thought maybe the alarm it didn't work. Exactly. I don't know what it was, yeah? And but I'm going to need to. I wake up exactly quarter to seven. Yeah. And uh, the, my alarm didn't ring. I turned it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I woke up. Like, when I tell you, I think I fell asleep. 30. I woke up again at like 4.15 then check my phone again 4.30 check my phone again 4.40 you know like that it was awful so for my next you exams definitely awake. I know but like for my next exams I feel like I'm gonna have to tell the whole family to set an alarm <laughs> so that I don't have that anxiety it's so bad but yeah I'm at the station now guys chat to you when I'm in Pret <laughs> So, I'm talking to my camera in uni, which is really weird, everyone's looking at me, but basically, I had breakfast, and I'm going to have a Red Bull, and I'm going to have three sips, three sips for energy, but I don't want more than that, because I've also had coffee, and I don't want to have to run to the toilet in the exam. Let's say hi to my vlog. Good luck. 
<laughs> is, oh, you're having a banana? I'm only having three sips of Red Bull because I don't want to go to the exam. <laughs> They've changed my uni around and I don't know where the toilets are. Oh, it's right where it was. That was so stupid of me. So, the thing that's freaking me out right now is not the exam. It's trying to remember my candidate number because it's actually my Oriel pin. So, Oriel is um, the system, the database that doctors use here. Hey! Um, it's the... <laughs> I feel so weird. Like, hi to people when I'm vlogging. Um, it's the database that we use apply for jobs like doctors in the UK um, and this is an exam for me to basically determine where I can get a job in the UK I don't know if I said this in the intro um, so it's different to like your candidate number for like exams so um, and it's super long so yeah instead of memorizing it I'm here chatting to you guys telling you guys how I'm going to memorize it <sighs> okay so I had three sips of Red Bull after breakfast I went to the toilet now walking to the sports hall gonna go into the exam wish me luck guys and I will tell you how I found it after bear in mind this isn't like a proper like um, knowledge exam so because it's not a proper knowledge exam I can't really come out and be like yeah I knew everything so don't expect a review like that basically so cute some guy I've never spoken to in my life just wish me good luck everyone's just walking past each other saying good luck because their pants. Another girl I don't know just wish me good luck to. I don't even know her name. So awkward. So I just finished the exam. Um, I actually did well in terms of timing. I had about 20 minutes I think to spare. Um, so yeah I timed myself well. I tried to give myself like a minute and a half for each question even though you're meant to have two minutes. But I didn't want the time at the end. Like I did, I used it, but I didn't want it because I don't. It's not the kind of quest, exam paper where you want a second question, where you want to second guess yourself. So yeah, I think it went well. Wish me luck, guys. I'll let you know how my results come out. Yeah. So I've just come out of the shower. Please don't look at this. This actually isn't a spot. I accidentally scratched my face. What is my life? Um, I'm fully exhausted, like to say the least. It's not even the exam, I think it's the lack of sleep from worrying that my alarm's not gonna go off. So yeah, that is the end of this like exam vlog thing. I hope that you guys found it kind of useful and interesting. Um, I really don't have much of final year left. There's 12 weeks and my GP tutor was telling me make sure you make like every day of it count um so that's what i'm trying to do and i kind of want to bring you through the final kind of steps to me becoming a doctor and i hope that you guys enjoy it if you do then let me know in the comments let's have a combo in the comments and follow me on my socials my instagram is persian bunny my snap is seppi samai and don't forget to subscribe for more videos bye